what's going on my course what's going on youtube so again i have this buddha trimmer with which i already uh unboxed on my live stream before but i'm going to modify it again for the sake of those who are watching outside philippines so many of you are requesting to do this modification in english so i'm going to do this again for you guys so please stay tuned and watch this So this is my Buddha trimmer. I bought this from AliExpress. And before I buy something from AliExpress, I see to it that I can modify it to something else. So just like this. So I observed that checking uh, the cam follower of this trimmer and checking the blade of this, and of course checking the uh, accessories of this trimmer. So this one is most I like or most the replica of wall detailer so wall detailer have this guide combs too and look around the blade uh, this is more like this is a replica of wall of a wall t white blade so i prefer to buy this one and i was able to modify it with wall t white blade so i will show you again so if you are going to ask me what model is this so this is the trimmer this is the box so the model is this is uh, b z t 99 so like like what i've said there are a bunch of different uh buddha trimmer out there in the market so there is uh if there's a buddha trimmer with a slimline pro or from andy's slimline pro replica blade then you can modify it with the outliner blade or the original slimline pro blade but this one i chose this one this is more likely multi white blade so i don't mind to use this or test this blade because as i i can see it very clear this is a very thick blade sure look at this and it's not even zero gap or not even point one and it's even crook so i don't mind testing this i'm not going to show you the performance of this stock clipper but i will modify it right away so let's make a, a run test of this trimmer so this is fast enough not the fastest trimmer but this is also fast so this is my kimi 1971 modified with Andy's T outliner blade. This is the run test of the Kimi 1971. And this is the Buddha trimmer. So they they're almost the same. So let's start to modify this, but before we start, uh this is the charger which I don't this is very cheap charger this one looks very cheap really okay this is for lithium-ion batteries so this trimmer is more likely a mechanical mode uh, for vaping so you turn this or more likely a flashlight then you can take the battery off then you can charge it charge this battery on this charger so this is not 18650 but it's 18500 uh, which have 1400 milliamp hour of course 3.7 volts so insert this again if it's fully charged so while charging this is red then it will turn green if it's fully charged okay so i'm gonna turn back. so there's a power button here just press this and you're ready to go okay so again i'm not going to test this so i have the wall t white blade here so this is the wall t white blade so let's compare side by side so this is the wall original and this is very thin this is also modified using one minute blade modifier by the chuka barber so as you can see this is the modification okay So, alright, and this is the 
original stock blade of the this Buddha trimmer this is very thick this will definitely not a heater not a heater blade so let's do the modification so this is very easy actually yeah I've done this already before for the sake of some viewers uh, outside Philippines I'm going to modify this so again so this is the ty blade so this is okay so let's try to remove the blade so again i'm not going to test this anymore so of course before you put uh your wall detailer or your white t white blade on this trimmer you're going to need the original cam follower of the wall detailer okay so this is the original uh, cam follower because you cannot use this cam follower which comes from the stack blade of this buddha trimmer so this is a fixed blade okay so as you can observe this is a very it has a very wide opening where the rotor comes in because the rotor itself is very thick so but the original cam follower this is already modified as you can see this is already modified I, this uh because the original cam follower will not this will fit but it, it's it's going to be very tight and it's not going to move your blade your cut your cut blades that's why uh first things first things first is you get a, a hand drill or a dremel tool then you're going to this this opening where the rotor comes in you are going to widen this a little bit okay so in this case this is already modified so as you can see this is the original this okay this is the original opening of this cam follower but i widened it so just be careful not to not to damage everything on your cam follower okay. this one is already fits perfectly on this rotor so okay so it is screwed up okay this is my multi way blade so i'm going to put the cam follower here so this is the spring okay you just insert it here this is very tricky you really have to press uh the blade because okay this is you really have to align the holes and okay i'm going to align the spring here at the back i'm going to push with using my screwdriver so the spring is already aligned here then you are ready to go to screw the wall the white blade so there you are guys so this is already modified with the wall T white blade and let's make our run test okay so I don't need to show how this trimmer hits because I've been using this blade all the time from my sonar so this is my sonar uh, detailer this is a, a wall detailer replica and i am using a, also a white t a wall t white blade on this sonar okay so uh i also ordered vgr super trim the black one and i hope i can modify it again with the wall t white blade but so youtube i hope you like this video so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and click the notification bell because i'll be modifying more and more uh clippers or trimmers on this channel so please stay tuned 
So, I hope you like this video and please give me a thumbs up and again, stay safe everyone and God bless. Sampits the Happy Barber signing out. Thank you.